Okay, so if you could just start by telling me um, your name and where you work. My name is Catalina Vasilescu and I work at EC Media. I'm in charge of European projects. And so um, what's been your involvement with the, uh, the community reporters or the web reporters as you call them? How, how has that come about and what's happening? Well, it came about uh, in the framework of Apollon, the European uh, project, and we, um, the, it's a new concept that we uh, we don't have in Isile Molino, and uh, since we're co collaborating with you, with People Voice Media, we we thought that it would be interesting to bring this, uh, to import this model in Isile Molino because we have really, uh, we have potential. So uh, our job was to um, to receive some training on the usage of uh, new media with social media and everything that uh, deals with blogs and uh, uh, media tools and then transmit what we learn to the um, youth in Isina Molino. So uh, that at their turn they can do uh, uh, web reporter, they, they can be web reporters for the different events in Isina. So going back so, to the training, um, how, how did you find the training? How, how, and 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 the the tools that you were exposed well, to there. I had some idea about the the, the media tools. Uh, I knew that it's about blogs and uh, wikis and Facebook and Twitter, but I didn't know exactly how to create a blog, how to upload content. Uh, I didn't know about the flip cams either. Uh, I didn't know how they function. How you can that you can really upload and make really fast, quick movies immediately after you you, you shot. What else did I learn with the wikis as well to upload pictures? All in all, to 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 maintain a blog to make it alive. And so, when yeah. you came away from the training, could you already see um, how you might incorporate it into the work you were doing here in EC? Well, it took a little bit a while. We, we had reunions with everybody uh, here to see what exactly are uh, we want to ask from the youngsters in EC and how we could can adapt what we learned to what they already might know and uh, what 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 is the the new stuff we can bring in so we we, we gathered I mean, we, we launched an uh, i don't know like a call for participation from the youngsters we didn't tell them about any project any european project we just told tell them uh, would you like to film um, the interesting stuff in your Life or in Isi de Molino, would you like to keep in touch with the local news? So come and uh, get formed with the usage of new tools. Come get, um, come learn how to use a flip cam. Do you know what the flip cam is? Uh, we will show you. And uh, do you have a blog? We asked them if you have a blog. If so, yes. Uh, how did you learn how to use it? Uh, would you like to learn more about it? So, uh, well, uh, this is this is how we, we we created flyers that we distributed in all the colleges and all the high schools in Isle Molino. Um, and we had we had three training sessions. Uh, we with ten persons showing uh, for each session, uh, and we we didn't follow exactly the same framework as in we did in Manchester because in Manchester we, it was a uh, compacted in two week in two days. But here, since we had three sessions, we, and we were really close to the event, um, I, I talked to the, to the person in charge of the youth center and said we should focus on the practical aspects. They don't need now, now they don't need to, to know how to create a blog, how to upload videos. Now they just need to know how to use the flip cam, how to make the interview, how to talk with the person, the posture, what questions do I ask, and uh, the, the practical stuff. So it was only about uh, manipulating the flip cam and the, the techniques of the interview. This is this was the first uh, the first step that we did for during all three sessions. And uh, then we had the event. And after the event, immediately, so we launched the pilot on 19th March, Saturday. And Saturday evening, we met with all the reporters around the big pizza. We ate, and then okay, everybody to work. We uploaded all the material on the. Um, on the machines and uh, the, the reporters, they just uh, learned along the way. And we told them, uh, so you upload everything, uh, you have, depending on your material, on your, if you have a, they have two different flip cams, so it was a little bit difficult. Uh, for the flip cam is easy, you just put it, there is a software that will appear, you will see all your videos, this is the button for cutting the videos, this is the button for putting them together. 
So with the flip cam it was easy. With the other kind of flip cam with the Samsung, it was a little bit difficult because they don't have the software integrated. So we had to explain them a little bit more uh, what to do to, to arrive to a final video. And then it was the blog. <laughs> Everybody knew what a blog is, how to, to enter a blog, but not how to upload material, how to, to navigate through all the menus. So this took a little while also. And uh, well, since it was Saturday night, we, we stood until 10 or 10.30, I think, from 7 until 10.30, the, the guys were already uh, tired. And we said, we will do like this, we will, um, we will keep the, all the material that we have so far. You will, you will continue working by yourselves at your place. And if you have questions, you, uh, you just call us, you have email, Facebook, phone, and you call us anytime you want, you tell me, I don't know how to do this, I don't know how to do that. We, basically, we told them all the steps. You have the video, you have the blog, you have the blog account, you just have to write the text and put the video. But in order to put the video, you have to have a YouTube account, so you can put the video on YouTube. And I've created the account for everybody on the blog and on YouTube. Some of them, they weren't, um, but not too many, two or three, they weren't at ease with uploading videos on YouTube and then putting them on the blog. But on the, over the phone, uh, half an hour with everybody, everything was good. So, yeah, and eventually we had everything on the blog uh, within two weeks from the event. So what were the elements of the, of, um, of the approach that worked particularly well and were there some elements that, that maybe have, have caused a few difficulties or, or issues along the way? Uh, could you rephrase that? <laughs> yeah, so, so to take... Um, so what... Um, so, so some things like having um, the flip cameras, for example, would, would, did that make the technology that more accessible for the young people? And was that? Do you think that that engaged them more quickly? Yes, all the youngsters when they saw the flip cams, we were, we were telling them today we will have a session about uh, flip cams. You know what the flip cam is? They saw the machine that the material it was placed next to us, but we didn't show it at the beginning. We we, we saw that they were looking, but they weren't daring uh, to ask what it is. So do you know what a flip cam is? Well, it's a little um, pocket camera you can, that you can just, it's like a phone and you, you can um, take uh, videos or even pictures depending on the model uh, whenever you want. Uh, you just plug it on your PC and up you have your video. Oh yeah, yeah, they didn't say, wow, what, uh, what a nice technology. But when we showed it and we, uh, oh yes, it has only three buttons, oh it's too easy, can I check it? <laughs> can I try it on? Ah, yes, we explained in a, in a few sentences what's it about and how it works and then we, we let them play with them. And we told them, that's it for today, you will show us what you did. And we explained also the techniques of the interview and you could see uh, in, in the practice session that we had after, uh, it's either they were checking, too much, they were too aware of what they were doing. It's either they were checking too much the flip, uh, keeping it here or here or here, because uh, it was really interesting. Ah, I forgot to mention, the approach that we took, what we did with Antoine, we didn't tell them, you need to do this, you need to do this. We made little, um, I don't know how you call it in French, we call it senet, short scenes. Yeah, short scenes between me and him. He was the reporter, I was the person on the street. And he, he, he we, we did the, the scene and we told him, we will make a scene and you will tell us what we did wrong. What's wrong about this one? And he, he was coming to me, uh, hello, uh, I would like to ask you, what do you think about this? And I was, mm, I was the, the, the bad person. And then uh, so we, we, we put them into a situation about everything that might happen when they go out in the streets. And everybody was laughing, oh no, you shouldn't do this, you shouldn't do this. So they, they learned by themselves, it's them who, who did, not the rules, but to, uh, it's them who discovered what, how it actually functions. And it was really, it was great. We enjoyed it. So that side sounds really good fun, but yep. you were talking about um, some of the other camcorders and having to convert files and <laughs> um, the complexity of editing. And, and, and was that a, did that put off some of the participants, do you think? No, it didn't put them off, but it, it, it made the time, uh, the, the time spent on putting the videos online it was longer. 
it did not demotivate them but uh, they were mm, it's a little bit difficult how do i do that they weren't ready to give up they just said i want to do this but i don't know uh, how it works and why it doesn't work and uh, it's normal because you didn't have uh, have to deal with this technology so far so we will explain to you uh, what it's all about and how it functions don't worry everything will be fine it's too easy but there are certain steps you need to follow and we told them you do this did you do this yes now you should do this now you should do this okay i did it i did it and we, after that we received i was receiving uh, text messages yes it's good i've done it it's on the website you can check it <laughs> good so you so, offered them telephone support and was there any other kind of access to um, support materials or, or were you just the main port of call it was yes it was mainly live uh, interaction because we given the short notice uh, of the um, of the pilot launch and the training sessions we didn't have too much time to, to prepare them really prepare them for what they have to do so we told them if you have any questions you just call us and we'll explain uh, live and we meet I can um, I can come whenever I, I can, every every evening, if if you need. I can come for support and show you on the PC what you have to do. And I did, in the evenings, uh, yes. But sometimes they were calling me for minor problems and that didn't need uh, me to go there uh, uh, specifically for, for to show them. So if you were to run um, at another um, lot of training, would, would you structure the support to them differently? Yes, now because we have we, we've seen how it worked with them, now we're thinking and plus because we have more time to prepare them for the future events, uh, we will provide the uh, written material for as for support, and we will base uh, during the course it will be mainly uh, live interaction, but then they will have uh, when they go back home they they will have something uh, as a support a written material so they can really learn how to do it and have everything written on paper and of course we will continue with the facebook and the phoning and the mailing yeah and it would be interesting um for, for for people to know just a little about the participants so the range of age um and and any particular yes, well, interest when we launch the call we, we we were interested for persons willing to do web reporting but we were uh, given the flip cams and the new technology attracting for youngsters. We 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 handed all the the, um, the information material, the flyers. We 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 put them at the um, in colleges, high schools, uh, wherever youngsters can be, and in the museums. Ah, yes, also in the in the cultural places in Islam, you know, where people can can enter, so anybody can be a reporter. And. Um, Finally, at the training sessions, uh, we had persons from 14 years old up to uh, 25. So the, the oldest is 25, and we have two uh, uh, underage uh, who are 40 years old. And does the group dynamic work okay with that, that range of ages? Yes, some of them, they knew each other because they, they do common activities, cultural activities within the youth centre. Some of them, they didn't know, but they, they got um, together because of the age the 14 with the 14 and so on. Uh, some um, of them that had common interests, uh, for example, the ones that are um, in uh, music schools, they were more together and they said, well, we, will, we might do also a, a, a reportage on, the, on what we do at our school because uh, we have uh, very uh, uh, many talents and we would like to show them, even if it's not in the framework of what you want to do, and we told them that we, we don't have a specific frame of what we are and subjects, what we need to cover. We, we just want content, we just want to share with everybody what EC does, but seen from your eyes. So the original training was in March and we're now in June, so just tell me a bit about how things are carrying on and, and any future plans as well. Yes. So for, from, uh, from March, we, we trained them mainly for the launch of the interactive trail. And uh, since we, we began the, long, the, the training the sessions mid-February, and so we, we had around one month to prepare them for the, for the, path, for the, for the launch of the trail. Uh, this is why we, didn't, uh, we really didn't have time to enter into detail about what they have to do. And since then, uh, now we consider that they're fully uh, operational and they know they can handle 
the flip cams and the blog and the YouTube, everything. But now for the future um, uh, events that will take place in EC, we, uh, we, we, we have an idea about the main events. Uh, most of them during summer, we, we, we let them full, uh, uh, I don't know how to say this, uh, we let them uh, film whatever they want because it's, hol it's the holidays and everybody's off. Uh, and starting with the um, with September October when school starts and everybody comes back from holidays, we have also uh, many activities planned in EC, and we will uh, we will contact them, but it will be at the end of the summer because uh, uh, it's then that they come back. By then we'll have time to prepare all our materials. We know exactly based on your model and what we learned. We will structure uh, chapter by chapter. And uh, um, so starting from September, uh, we, we will organize sessions. I have to check with Antoine to see exactly the, uh, if it's a weekly basis or two, uh, once a month or twice a month, uh, the sessions. Great. Anything else you want to share about the experience or um, any final thoughts? No pressure. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> um, Yes, we were thinking uh, what identity should we create for the web reporters? Mm. Because we, if we send them out in the city uh, with nothing on them, it will be just like a normal guy with a flip cam uh, doing something, shooting a video. This is why we have created the badges. Well, this is a badge for the for the workshop, but we, we have badges with their photos on the, based on your model, but we don't have yet the logo. Uh, and we also created um, caskets with the QR code that works actually. And uh, when you flash it, you you get access to the blog of the web reporters. Okay. And yes, I will show it to you. Yes. And so we, um, we launched the pilot on Saturday. On, on Friday evening, we had a last meeting with them to to brief them about the operation that was going to take place on Saturday and what is their mission. And we didn't tell them, hey, we have this for you, uh, we, we kept it yeah. secret. And uh, we told them, since we had eight points, main points of the trail, of the discovery trail for the day, uh, they were around 10 or 12. I said, well, we can put you in two, groups of two, so you can don't, don't get bored. Uh, plus it's more, you get, you, you have, you feel more, I don't know, you have more courage to talk to the people when you, you're in two. Uh, and at the end, uh, we told them, okay, you will be at this point. This is the picture of the point where you have to be, in case you don't know it. And in order for people to recognize you, so and they don't uh, look weird at you when you approach, um, here are your badges. Ooh, they were too excited. Badges like badges, but when they saw the caskets, oh, wow, uh, oh, look, a QR code. Oh, I said, uh, try to flash it. And when they flashed, oh, it actually works. <laughs> yes, we thought of everything. So uh, they were really, this was really a surprise for them, they weren't expecting. So I said, well, when you go now out and you show everybody, I'm from the web reporters of Isile Marino, you already have a big title, You're, everybody will respect you and they will speak more free with you uh, about uh, whatever subject you, you're interested in. Actually, could I ask you a question yeah. about how you're promoting the blog and how people are finding the blog? Is it, is it, is it building an audience or...? Uh, yes, during the um, well, you can access the blog uh, since it's in WordPress. It has a, a WordPress address. It's icreportage.wordpress.com. But we didn't promote this title because it was too long and not everybody in EC can pronounce it. This way, we made the shortcut from the, our local website from ec.com. It's ec.com slash web reporter. Like this, everybody can uh, memorize it, and it's a direct link uh, to to the blog. But the web reporters, they know both addresses, so uh, we're fine with that. Um, we have a special section on our local website that speaks about the reporters and saying, if you're interested, you have this uh, center in EC that, pro that provides classes, courses. Uh, here are the contact details and the mail and the Facebook uh, group also. Um, what else? We have Facebook the Facebook of the, of the, our local Facebook of the city and the Facebook of uh, Clavim, the youth center. And they also have a dedicated page uh, saying you want to become web reporters, come learn the new tools, come uh, learn how to uh, work with the flip cam and uh, motivating messages. 
what else do we have? Uh, how do we promote the blog? Also, we promote it every time in uh, Point d'Appui, in the local magazine, which comes out every month. And we also we, uh, we always have a, um, a column dedicated to the web reporters and what they did, and always with the link. Click here. Yeah. So we were um, when we launched the blog. I think we started to create it uh, by in the beginning of February, and um, I di I didn't make it private because it was it wasn't known so I wasn't expecting people to go and check it so in um, on the day of the launch we had uh, 30 people that showed up at the museum when we did the launch but after when I uh, checked the stats on the blog we had uh, 100 views of the blog yes so uh, um, and then it continued because it was it was new we were promoting it uh, heavily on facebook and on local magazine and uh, whatever we could and we were saying we were sending also press release everywhere the web reporters that we see are here um so everybody was checking the the web page and also when i went out to to stick the qr codes uh, i saw people passing and looking weird and said uh, uh, this is uh, the new uh, interactive trail of isile molino if you have a smartphone you can flash it starting from now and get access to uh, different um, information on the on the fort of vc by the way did you know that <laughs> yeah uh, so this is it was the um, for the month of march 100 views was uh, was our highest uh, score and then it was the concert organized by uh, mcs and when i checked the stats we had 650 views only on that saturday so uh, I get it because I think it was because it was a nice weather and everybody went out in Isile Molino and they saw the, QR, the, the information panels and the QR codes. It, oh, look, there's a QR code. Uh, let's flash it. Let's see what it's about. So if you flash the code, you, you, get, you arrive straight on the blog of uh, the web reporters. And you have several, um, I don't know, several little windows, several rubrique. Um, <laughs> several um, yeah small chapters uh, a chapter dedicated to the um, to the interactive trail and the history of the ford a chapter dedicated entirely to become web reporters and if you want uh, fill in this form or call us or this kind of uh, questions and another one the the main page where all the content uh, all the latest content that the web reporters do it's uploaded in in real time so whatever they do, whatever they say, shows up there. So would you yes. recommend the experience to somebody else if they were thinking about starting a, uh, a web reporter or community reporter programme? Yes, definitely. Definitely because it brings out the... Um, uh, I don't know, it, it, it brings out persons that before they didn't know each other from that live in the same city. They, it brings out, it's like an intergenerational, uh, I would say, collaboration from uh, that allow the youngsters and uh, the the persons working in the city to come back together for example we have um, at ec media we have a, a team specialized in doing a, um, a reportage on the field but uh, it's always it has always been uh, too formal and uh, rigid whereas if we send the web reporters uh, the the, the sh way of shooting it's completely free and we don't impose anything to them so i think this is better when we when you see the video you can actually uh, i don't know watch it as you were there you can live it as you were actually there so this is what i like about it Great. Yes. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me. My Thank pleasure. you. And it was uh, our best experience so far, cross-border experience, which I, I hope it will uh, last. Oh, thank you, yes. Catalina. Pleasure. My pleasure. Thank you. <laughs>